the guy who jumped from space. I wanted to be the first human outside of an aircraft breaking the sound barrier. I almost weigh twice the weight that I normally have, and it's very difficult to do a perfect exit. Do not over rotate. Because if I start over rotating, there's no air that, that, that you can use to slow down. Okay, John, I'm ready. Okay, here we go, Felix. I'm going over now. first 25 seconds, it looked like everything is under control. And after 34 seconds, I hit Mach 1, and I broke the speed of sound. Was that him breaking the... Yeah. That was our goal. I wanted to be the first human outside of an aircraft breaking the sound barrier. Because of the fact that a lot of those scientists said Prior to the jump, you're gonna spin like crazy and the other half said, we don't think anything is gonna happen. I was mentally prepared to spin, but I was hoping that I'm not gonna spin. Now, if you watch the next couple of seconds, you see at that moment, it slowly starts to spin. It's getting faster. The problem is there's no protocol. There's nobody in the world telling you, listen, Felix, if this happens, you have to do this while the whole world is watching. Then I was trying to move my arms around a little bit, just maybe it does something. And then it stopped for a second, but now it starts getting the opposite direction, you know? And then it really ramps up. At that moment, it's not about breaking records anymore. At that moment, it's all about survival. Speed 600 miles per hour. There's only one way for the blood to leave your skull, and that's through all the eyeballs. If that happens, you're gonna die. I had a chi whiz attached to my hand. The chi whiz is a device that it fires a drogue shoot that pulls you out of that flat spin. That's why I put my hands in to trick that, that uh, chi whiz. It's less chi, and now the chi whiz senses, oh, less chi, that means he's getting it under control. I turned around and I was stable as well. So when you look at my suit, you know, the more you fall, the more depressurized the suit gets. And here you can already see the suit flapping. Look at the sky, it's blue now. Yeah, so we went from black sky back to blue sky. If you look at the right corner, Luke was dropping some flares and it gives me the perfect direction for the wind. Now this is a very important moment. Very first time after hours and hours inside that spacesuit that I'm breathing regular air. So now I'm really happy because even the landing worked just perfect. Yeah,